Okay, the question was, um, I'm a computer software engineer and I know all about computer programming and I know that with smartphones and Facebook that there is computer algorithms that use the microphone on your computer or your smartphone to listen to what you're doing and perhaps even the video cameras are on secretly and they're looking and the computers are smart enough to see what the little humans are doing and then when you go on they start giving you advertising based upon what it's listening to and what you're typing in the computer and who's talking to you and what they're saying and what the video camera is showing and they're giving you all this information and the computer is incredibly smart but I hate it because I don't like the idea that it's spying on me and giving me advertising that's supposed to match so hmm well my question was you know is it not possible that you could still get a synchronicity in other words a meaningful coincidence through all the programming that's on your phones and all the software and someone said well it's impossible I have to use my rational mind and it's impossible to get a synchronicity uh, through my phone because it's got so much programming in it well I take a pregnant pause to recollect myself. You're saying that, okay, we're talking about synchronicities, okay? So I'm going to talk, talk to you about the physicist David Bohm, B-O-H-M. He talked about how the universe is all one. And he, he referred to it as a implicate slash explicate universe so hidden away from us the universe is one thing and it's all there everything that's going to happen it's all there but where we live the universe that's like this it's opening up like a rose blooms and when synchronicities happen in your life it is proof that the universe is able to, when it was like this, it's all programmed. Maybe it's programmed. Maybe that, I mean, I have to use human words. I don't have words of the creation itself, but it, it's as if it's programmed so that when you're driving down the road and something's on the radio and it might be the word is dream and you drive down one of the roads in inner city and you see one of the new signs for confederation college that says dream do so at the exact moment that on the radio the song or the announcer says the word dream your eye goes to like you don't even think to go and look you just your eye is there that spot that says dream on the confederation college sign at the exact same time the announcer or the radio um, song is playing that is a meaningful coincidence it is called a synchronicity so if it can happen when you're driving someone says well that's fine that's a separate incident but it can never happen through your phone well i just want to refer you once again back to david bone the universe even the stuff that's going on with your phone is part of the universe and i'm not going to go and say okay multiverse or you know all these other terms for the reality the greater reality but the fact is that the synchronicity can and does happen through your phone because it the phone your phone that you think is something separate from you and your universe is not separate from you and it is not separate from the universe. The universe is consciousness. It is mind. And all of you people, myself included, were taught lies. 
we were taught that we live in a physical world. Sure, it appears that I'm a physical being, but it is because that is the human word we use for something that seems solid. But if you dig deeply into it, it is all consciousness. It is all consciousness. Everything in your world is consciousness and it is all part of one great mind. My name is Harry Weaver and I am the narrator on Infinite Bob 99 and you're welcome to come and see more of my cookie videos. I've got many cosmic characters that I do. Um, I do a lot of different kinds of things and I try to be enlightening while trying to make you laugh.